Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning. We appreciate your loyal viewership and the good feedback you give us. Let's take a look at our weather. Brought to you by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Drew Pollard, and hardworking crew taking care of our everyday comfort needs. High today, 87, low 77. Water temperature at the end of the pier, 83.8. So I'm going to round that off to 84. When Gail puts this up, puts this together at night, she's exact. But I, I like to round things off. It's 84 degrees at the end of the pier. Take a look at our river readings brought to us by the good folks down at Panama City, Coca Cola. Check out these new charts from NOAA. See how Pensacola blunts down? It's at a 7.9 and pretty steady. And then the Choctaw at Caribou is at a 6.5 and, and got a little drop to it. And uh, the charts, like I say, I don't like them as much as we've had the other ones since we've been doing the show. They're not as colorful and a lot harder to read. I know on the, on the screen itself it's harder to read and on, on my information is hard to read, but we'll, we'll make do, but that's, that's a typical case of somebody uh, got a job with, with the government and they want to change things just for the sake of change, and, and the old way it was better as far as reading chart, and you won't convince me any other way. Moving on, our, let's, let's do our, our tie chart right here that's brought to us by good folks at Kent Forest Lawn. Today is Wednesday, June the 5th. What a strong tides we have today. What a great outgoing tide this afternoon. You look at the whole month of June. The whole month of June is just full of great tides. I mean, we have like one deep tide uh, in the last Saturday of the month, but man, what a great month to, to uh, fish the tidal flow in our base system. So keep that in mind as you're putting together your game plan and your fishing plan when you have time to go. But the outgoing tide is very strong and the incumbent is strong too. So you got a great morning fishing, great afternoon fishing. So it's gonna be good. Take a look at our, our uh, wind direction coming out of the south at about 12. Okay, let's take a break, we'll be right back. All right folks, Panhandle Outdoors is going fishing at a place we've never fished before. Believe it or not, we're real close to St. Andrews. We're over in Destin. And we're gonna go fishing on the Vera Marie, a big head boat that fishes 65 people. I'm over here with family and everybody, a group of us want to go fishing, so we just made reservations and uh, getting ready to go out. That is a big boat. Fishes 65. We'll be going with family, some family members, and uh, we're looking forward to it. I, ironically, it was closest I've ever I've been here. Area my whole life, I've never fished out of Destin. <laughs> How cool is this? Hi, right, folks. A lot of time on the show, I talk about my cousins from all over. I talk about cousins up in Birmingham. Well, here's our fishing party today. My cousins from Birmingham. So tell the folks who you are. Jennifer, we'll start with you. Hey, I'm Jennifer Bearden from Birmingham, Alabama. And you excited about this I trip? Yeah, I'm really excited. I've I'll... only been fishing once, or deep sea fishing once. All right. I'm Shane Sisk. This is my older sister, and uh, we love to come down here once or twice a year. I mean, Destin has the best fishing available. And and I love the shirt you have on. Yes. That's a good luck shot. It, it is. It used to have fish blood all down the middle, but I, <laughs> I evidently got it out. All right. And Callie. I'm Callie. I'm in ninth grade, and I go to Mount Brook. Up in Birmingham, Mount Brook High School. Okay. Well. We're looking forward to a good morning. Got a six hour trip, right? Yes. Okay, so uh, we have about 48 people in the houses and we're the only four that went going fishing today. So the rest of them are still asleep, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
make a lot anywhere. channel right there for redfish. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. There you go. 
Good job. All right. You'll take it out. You'll take it out. Hey, make sure you don't let take it out. Go ahead and switch your rod up there. Will you get that? There you go. Yeah. Never, I got your rod. Never forget that one. Yeah, I'm going to get your picture with it, okay? Can I? Yeah, I can probably look at the light. Rod and rod. Rod and rod. Rod and Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold it. Yeah. Put your thumb in there. There you go. Yeah. Stick it in there. Right, hold, it. Right, hold, it. Right, hold it. Hold it up. There you go. That's your first B-liner? All right. Okay. When you go back to school this summer, you can show what you, show what you did. All right. Get a few in there. That's that little box. There you go. Oh, all right. Here we go. Big enough? What is it? Yeah, what is that organ. thing sticking out of it? A pork. Pork. That's a pork. Yeah, that's good eating. All right, Callie, you want to kiss it? Nice. Shane, you got to hold it. Oh, hold it up, Shane. You got to hold it? Hey, we're, we're here in Navarre Beach, right off of Paradise Point. It's the best fishing on the Florida Panhandle. <laughs> I know who's going to get that message. We used to go to Destin, but now we go to Navarre Beach. Navarre Beach. Okay, that's where we are. Navarre Beach. That's where my dad lives. <laughs> what about it, Jennifer? You have I one? I I do. Oh, no. I have, oh, no. I have a line. You, you hung up? Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. It's, it's exciting. <laughs> That's part of it. All right, Jennifer bowed up again. Oh my gosh. I don't think anything's on there. What do you think, Callie? I don't think anything's on there. You don't think anything's on there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at there. Oh, nice one. She also got another yeah. one. That is. That is a That's a snapper. And the season not open. Season not open until Saturday. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Tell them about it. Go ahead. Hey, Tell them what it is. I don't have a camera. Red Make a picture. Snapper, the red snapper. Not open. Season open is June first. Two days opening the season. Two more days. Two more days. <laughs> Take a picture. Did you get a picture? No, I didn't. My right. Yeah, I do it. Oh. All right. Hold up. Whoa. What is that? <laughs> it's a remora. It's a what? Remora. Yeah, they go on sharks. Can I hold it? It's a shark? It's a shark. Can I hold it? Show her how it works. You can hold it with this. Kelly, that's off the camera. All right. It's a remora shark? It's a remora in the shark family. It attaches to a shark. Okay. Okay. You attach it. <laughs> you, want, you want to hold them? You want a picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You want to put it on your eye? Yeah, show her how it works. Uh, watch this. I can hold it if you want. Watch this. Watch it what it does. That's so cool. Oh, that is cool. Is that cool? There you go. Take a picture with your phone. Is that cool? Is that cool? Look behind you, you got a video camera. Okay. That's exciting, what is it? Yeah. It's a remora shark. It's a remora shark? Remora shark and okay. the shark camera. Alright, folks, it's a remora shark. Shut up, buddy. Kiss it. We're going. <laughs> Alright. Thank you. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Go kiss him. You're not gonna kiss him. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Can I take a picture of it like this? Yes. Yeah. Oh, she was. Hurry, Moss. Turn around. She's trying to be doing that. All right, turn around this way. Turn around another way too. All right. Okay. Okay, you're gonna let him go. Yeah. Boom! There he goes. He's happy and you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> I think I automatically win. <laughs>
That's cool. No. Their shell island. And the Eglin. Contrasted. Okay, here's the bridge. Contrasted. Down on the other side. Good space there. Let's put it rough here.
Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. We had a great time and we, uh, we got some fish out of it. Let's take a look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. One time, 10.53 to 12.53. Also, just a quick reminder about what's coming up this weekend. Now, don't forget, Friday night, Highland Park Baptist, we have right here, uh, the Highland Park Baptist, uh, the men's group having Low Country Shrimp Bowl. It's going to be at 6 p.m. and call the church office. The tickets are $5.00. That's not to make money off of it. Really, they just need a head count on how many people are coming in. So that's coming up. And also, the Taunton Family Children's Home, uh, you know, they're having over there in the Wee Wall, they're having their annual uh, big picnic and get together. You can go down there and buy all kind of stuff, uh, good food, and just support the Taunton Family Children's Home. They're in a third generation of taking in uh, young people and uh, children and babies and all. And just, uh, without any government help. That's been a remarkable story, and I'll always, uh, always have a special spot in my heart for, for the late uh, David Taunton and all of his family that continued this tradition. Get about our fishing trip. You know, it, it's just fun going fishing, and it's as simple as that, especially when you go with, your, with some of your buddies or especially with your family members and those, those cousins. We have, it's all extended cousins. They, they, most of them are coming down from Birmingham, and R.C. and Lois coming over from Ponte Vedra, and we're two big old houses. It, we stay close, pretty close to the Bass Pro Shop, so I feel like I almost see the Bass Pro Shop, but you know, I went riding my bike in the mornings and all. We just had a wonderful time, but the reason I want to talk about riding my bike, as crowded as it is, keep in mind that place like, vacation places like that, nobody gets up early, so you can go fishing early. And I thought about riding my bike, you know, you know close to the beach, and I could, I mean, on the road by the beach, I could see nobody was out there uh, early, you know. So uh, you can still fish at places. In fact, I talked to a couple of people fishing. They caught a couple, and I could tell they were uh, greenhorns that doing it, but they were at least out there giving it a try. So uh, but getting on a headboat like that is just a special time. Uh, just enjoy the time. So when you get a chance to do that, we have some boats here locally. Apalachicola has a, some nice boats, St. Joe and Destin, uh, what we call head boats, where you just put the people on there and just fish. I know the fishing's close. You're going to get tangled, but that's all part of it. You meet some really good people too. Have, just have a good time. So, so glad I got to go with with my family members, my cousins, and all. Looking forward to doing it again next year. I bet we'll have more doing it again next year. All right, I got to wrap it up for today. We got Fred Myers coming on tomorrow, talking about rent fishing. So, you have a great day today. Do something good for someone else. Enjoy the outdoors. Take care of it, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.